The Pinnacle Award for Quality and Patient Safety recognizes the unwavering commitment of New York State hospitals to improving the quality of care for patients by honoring and celebrating significant achievements in the areas of quality improvement and patient safety. The program also encourages broad dissemination of successful initiatives. This year, Haney's received 131 nominations for the Pinnacle Award. Each nomination represents an important initiative by a healthcare provider to make a positive difference and achieve higher levels of quality and patient safety. I commend all of our members' hospitals for their efforts. The first winner is the multi-entity category, is Catholic Health Services of Long Island for its improving patient safety in obstetrics using crew resource management's initiative. After experiencing a cluster of obstetrical adverse events in 2005, Catholic Health Services of Long Island formed a system-wide perinatal task force. After researching various approaches to address this issue, the task force selected the crew resource management model used in aviation. Clinicians were trained and principals around communication, team structure, situation monitoring, mutual support, and team behavior were adopted as were team rounding and huddles on each patient. Blame-free debriefings were conducted after near misses or adverse events. Emergency drills were conducted to sharpen critical incidents awareness and response. After 18 months, Catholic Health Services of Long Island saw significant improvements. Adverse events across the health system's hospitals decreased between 26 and 42%. The severity of events across the hospitals dropped between 9 and 17 percent. Malpractice claims decreased 66 percent. Unexpected admissions to the neonatal intensive care unit dropped by more than 60 percent. Staff perception of safety culture increased by 50 percent. Results have been sustained over 36 months. Accepting this award on behalf of Catholic Health Services of Long Island is Joseph Conti, Executive Vice President of Corporate Services. Please join me in congratulating Catholic Health Services of Long Island. Thank you, Joe. Uh, on behalf of Catholic Health Services Governing Board and Management Team, I want to thank Haney's for selecting us for the Pinnacle Award winner in the health system. And I also want to thank the very astute uh, judging body that uh, awarded us this award as well. Uh, it's an honor to accept this award on behalf of a fine health system with a great tradition and a very special mission. It's a reflection of the dedicated staff and motivated physicians who focus on quality every day and the safety of every patient in every admission. This stage is not big enough to accommodate the literally hundreds of team members responsible for this achievement, but I especially want to recognize those who took the trip up with us today uh, to uh, celebrate this. Joel Yohai, our Chief Medical Officer. <laughs> Joel is more than a Chief Medical Officer. He is really the heart and soul of quality throughout the organization, and he really makes change happen. And we really have uh, three very important people with us. As we all know, without the nurses, it never happens. And we have three very special nurse leaders here today, Mary Ann, Ann, and, uh, she, uh, excuse me, and Arlene. And I ask you to please stand up. They really are responsible for the implementation and the continued effectiveness of this project, which really now is in its fifth year. So this is really quite uh, an achievement. This initiative is on reflection somewhat ambitious in scope in that it sought to improve care at multiple hospitals for each of the over 8,000 mothers that deliver infants with us each year. This is their most cherished gift, and we really take the responsibility very seriously. The key ingredient, aside from the obviously talented staff, was the implementation of the crew resource management team training principles that were mentioned. 
And if there is one thing we all know when we go through our root cause analysis and team debriefings, is we can improve communication. And th this methodology improves communication, it improves the way people respect each other, and this is really at the essence of how this initiative achieved the results. And these results were dramatic, as Joe mentioned. They're in the booklet, they don't need to be repeated. But as a result, we've expanded this application of these principles to our emergency rooms, our operating rooms, and beyond. And this is very important because the same effort in this setting can work in your hospitals as well. As Don Berwick said when accepting the Trust Award in 2004, we struggle separately to achieve what we can accomplish only together. I applaud Haney's for creating the Pinnacle Award platform for sharing best practices around quality and safety. It has been an inspiration to many and a motivation towards excellence and care that we can accomplish only together. We have 15,000 employees that take care of over two and a half million people in the Nassau Suffolk County area. And this particular initiative that we worked on dealt with delivery of newborn infants. And we deliver over 10,000 newborn infants to 8,000 mothers every year. So this is a special part of being a Catholic hospital and certainly the mission aspect is very important. We trained over 300 employees in crew resource management theory and helped improve team communication, team empowerment, and we really saw an incredible improvement in the quality and safety of all of our deliveries. And how will you take this award and use it across the system? How will you leverage it? Well, right now, because we had such tremendous effect in the obstetrical area, we've already rolled it out into our emergency rooms and operating rooms. These principles are fungible across the whole enterprise. The Pinnacle Award uh, means a great deal to me. It, it uh, is a testament, I think, to the uh, very hard work that the nurses have uh, put in at St. Charles Hospital uh, over the last several years since we began the initiative. The Pinnacle Award means collaboration among my nursing staff, anesthesia staff, and physicians on our maternity unit. And really the bottom line is that it affects patient safety and we have great outcomes. Uh, the Pinnacle Award uh, relates to our work with team training, um, which is based on crew resource management in the military, in which all members of the team are equal and they all really know what role they have to play, uh, especially when emergencies happen. And when we went to training, all the doctors and all the nurses were trained together. Um, and then a group of them became trainers themselves and went on to train the rest of the staff. So it really is all about teamwork. Yeah, and the award, I think, just um reiterates uh, the importance of having a team, a team of dedicated nurses, uh, obstetricians, anesthesiologists, and support people who really made uh, all the difference in having the outcomes that we've achieved. How can you take this award and leverage it across the system so that other areas of excellence are awarded? So we have many other areas where uh, team uh, work is critical, uh, as you know, uh, in the operating room. Uh, we've already extended this to our uh, emergency departments, but now we'll um, use this award to help us um, show the value of doing this in the areas where uh, there are patients who depend on us working together as a team. The operating room comes to mind, but there are other areas as well. For example, the ICU. So we think that with this uh, under our belts, we'll be able to use um, uh, the good work that has been done to expand to those areas uh, to improve patient care.